My name is Mary Beth Sanate. Uh, I work for Rural Women Upliftment Society, a women organization, non-profit working for empowering indigenous community, especially indigenous women. I We work in Manipur, Northeast India. This, this area where we work is geographically and culturally isolated from the rest of India. Uh, we live in a conflict zone where ethnic conflict and militarizations are quite prevalent, uh, where indigenous women uh, have uh, a limited voice in spite of their key role in economic activities and also because of the conflict women uh, becomes a victim in the form of internally displaced people losing their families uh, experience different forms of sexual violence so i think it's very important for indigenous women to work for peace building we are also engaged not only at the grassroots level, but also at the national level through women collective. Through the support of FEMI, two years since two years ago, we initiated a campaign uh, called Save the Dying River because uh, the, we in in the area where we work, we have only one river uh, which is uh, called locally Tuitra and that has been the lifeline of many indigenous communities in the past. But the government has constructed a huge dam uh, in the mount of the river so the river become polluted and um, it has a serious impact on the communities living in the area. So the women has uh, started a campaign on Save Tuitra, Save the Dying River. I need seed project. We started collaborating with FEMI. We provided them seed money to set up their own market set. Seeds are important because uh, we get food from the seeds that is the main sources of our, our living. Mm. You know, in this global world, many of the indigenous seeds are patented by the corporates and then uh, they sell it back to the market. So farmers, uh, when they buy a patented seed, uh, they can grow only for a season, for one season. Your food cycle, your food system will be captured by the companies. But these traditional indigenous seeds, uh, as long as you preserve, you can, you can grow it uh, for decades and decades. Food is highly political. Uh, food is also your identity, right? Traditionally acceptable, locally acceptable food is very important. It's related to your culture.